Hey hello everybody, my name is Gatemar. Welcome back for another video of Vampire. We're gonna continue the series, boys. Let's do this. Let's not waste any more time. Uh, we gotta talk to Edgar Swinsey into the office. Uh, know what just happened here because apparently they got attacked. Uh, from Old Bridget's information, she told us that uh, this hospital, hospital in question got attacked. Uh, bastards. What have they done to Edgar? Oh, they kidnapped Edgar. Really now? Interesting. How did she not... Like, how did the one that, that I killed Brannigan, the only one that was left before I killed her, how did she not tell me about, like, alright, whatever, man. You know what? I killed her, now there's actually nobody here left to take care of the patients. There's actually patients still there, uh, but patients I can't interact with, so... Follow the blood trail, so where's the blood? Looks like he's wounded. I better follow the blood. Alright, we're gonna follow the blood, boys, I guess. McCullum and his thugs are taking the credit for Edgar's abduction. They really mean business. Okay, so the... I guess, I, you know, they abducted him. Now, I don't know where it's gonna, that's gonna lead me. There's uh, some blood right here. Oh, right here, okay. Let's just follow the blood boys, see where they went, I guess. It's not like I really care because I've killed pretty much everyone I could see. Are we going to take the elevator really? That's interesting. We are down. Alright, let's open the door. There's a cutscene. Alright, let's see what's going to happen boys. Ultraviolet curtains and ori calcum powder. Dr. Swansea's always been a resourceful bastard. I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Says a lot about how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what he did. What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it. Just like you are. You're the progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We've found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward Are you serious? Are you s Okay. I gotta fight him, boys. He's got some light too, so... He's got those special attacks, but remember, I'm pretty OP, man. I, I'm i way... Oh, yeah, I'm level 40, he's level uh, 33. Now, I am losing health because of the light, so at least he's got that. I'm going to use my power. There we go. You want to mess with me, man? Now's not the time for this. Okay, I got to get out of the light, boys. going to heal myself up. You can't beat me, McCallum, even with the blood of uh, Arthur, the Caving Arthur. You can't kill me, man. It's not gonna happen. I'm too strong for you. The blood of a true defender of this land will protect you. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of the. Let's get out of here. I'm out of stamina, boys. That's not good. I hate that I can't block. Like, not to my knowledge, at least. So I can't block. So. This is gonna hurt. Like I need blood right now. Oh, the the light. He killed me. Great. 
We gotta be careful for him to not attack us because okay. That the first thing we get, we need to do is attack him as much as possible with the sword, boys. The sword's giving us blow, uh, blood. Oh my god. He's got the lighting right now. He's cheating by also shooting at me, so that's not good. Okay. No more no more light to protect you. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my special on you. I think the special actually is one of those things that you don't need blood for it, but you need to wait a lot of time in order to for it to recover. So we can beat him, boys. No worries about that. We're gonna beat him for sure. Okay, let's go. Let's beat him. We're gonna gain some blood with this. Oh my god. So here's the thing, though. Here's the big problem. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use really my claws in this. He is pretty strong. Get it, I'll give it to him because he does a lot of damage and with the sun and everything, he's pretty dangerous. The stamina is the biggest problem really. But I'm doing a lot of damage with my weapon in itself so it's not like I really need the claws or anything. Alright, let's kill you with this. It hurts, doesn't it? God damn! Relax, chill. Oh, the blood. I'm gonna die. The fucking sun, boys. Close your eyes. This is gonna hurt. No, you don't. The sun is everywhere. I can't let him beat me. The sun's everywhere, boys. It's ridiculous. It's getting everywhere by the minute. Alright, I healed myself up. No. See, can stun me. This is what's ridiculous. I forgot about my goddamn shotgun again, boys. I was str here struggling. I just forgot about my shotgun like a dumb idiot. What am I even doing? There we go. If I had used, only used my shotgun uh, like earlier, I would have Free defeated him way earlier. God damn. the fact we're not enemies, can you? <laughs> we always have been. And we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. You hunted me down, maybe I'm a monster. We could collaborate. Uh, I mean, we could collaborate. I'm not saying we could be friends, you and I. But perhaps we could collaborate to put an end to this epidemic. Never! We are pre-win. We do not negotiate. We do not compromise. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCullum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now. For there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. <sighs> That's where you're mistaken. I can mesmerize you. Oh, I can turn him into a vampire. No fucking way. I can either spare him. If I spare him, he's just gonna create more problems to me. For me, so... No, let's turn him. Let's turn him into a vampire, boys. Oh, that's gonna be great. Wow. <laughs> I'll make you a vampire. I'll make you one of us. No! Kill me! <laughs> Prepare yourself, Hunter. You're about to be hunted. Just uh, like me. No! No! When I kissed my uh, uh, goodbye, uh, I had no idea what I was doing. But now I do. Consider this my kiss of Judas. Uh, uh, <laughs> Welcome to the world through the looking glass. All right, boys. So I don't know. Um, this is my second chill, second child, then. McCollum is now my second child. It's gonna be interesting. I lost 
a thousand XP, but I still have plenty of XP. I mean, three thousand. That's pretty good. So reach the Doris Fletcher's theater. I mean, uh, so that means he, that's where he's he's been held at. All right. Very intriguing, boys. Let's go ahead and reach the theater. I'm gonna see you guys once uh, we are there. All right, here's the theater, boys. Right beside. Just gotta kill these two, two goons first before doing anything else. There we go. I ca I have to not like I have to stop forgetting about the fact that I have a gun, boys, a shotgun at that, uh, so I can actually use it between the boss fights. I always forget about that. I always end up struggling for no reason. Like that's the most stupid thing ever. All right, let's just uh, go ahead and enter the heater. So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Okay, we gotta find him. Gotta find uh, Swansea boys. So he's gotta be somewhere here. I mean, there's not many choices really. So let's just go up here, kill everyone we can see. There I go. So we gain a little bit of XP at the same time. Gives us some XP to kill these guys. So I'm gonna do that. Um, might be he might be down there i mean he might be not entirely sure oh there he yeah he is he's down there so uh i don't quite remember how to go down though there's i think there was uh oh let me let me kill those rats real quick get some blood real quick boys it's gonna help out first for blood all right let's kill these guys there we go I think this is one of the way down. Can I go down here? No, I don't think so. It's locked. No, okay, I can't go down there. Um, there's a letter right here, Doris Fletcher. Okay. I can't dare. So this is just a secret place for most more stuff. Okay. So this is not the way we want to go. Got more. Resources. Just gotta find a way to basically get uh, below. No, okay, it's not here. Those are stairs to the main place. Okay, this guy, I'm gonna have to kill him. Anything here? No, there's not. So, this is as low as you can get. There's got to be another room, right? There's got to be another room, boys. How do I get there? Hmm. See, here's the thing. Gather information about Edgar's work. Why would I do that? I just have to gather information? Maybe by talking to him. Right. Uh, we can rescue him now. All right, we are on the ground. Nice. Let's kill him. Let's kill the priest first. There we go. Because he's the most dangerous one with the light. Okay. And they're all dead. All right, I'm just going to collect everything really quick. So where's Edgar Swinsey? I saw him. Oh, he's, he's downwards. Wow. All right. They're even more underground than this, boys. That's... uh. Okay, how do I go there then? God damn. There's a door right here, but the door is locked. Sad. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, there we go. Is that the right? No, that's to go down uh, upwards. I'm guessing this is the door right here. That's going to lead us below, boys. I just got to find a key or some sort. But there's no keys here. This is gonna be Doris Fletcher oh. was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. I got it. All right, I got the storage key. Nice. Can go in now. Uh, let's go down. There we go. We're good, boys. Uh, we are on the same ground as uh, as I am now, so we can s actually save him. Okay, there we go. We collect the everything. Is he here? He's not here, but there's a couple of resources here. It's actually a key. 
Blood of a pure heart, garlic, blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. It's locked. So the vampire knight. Okay, we've got plenty of letters and stuff. I can't open this. Don't have the keys for it. Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna collect the bullets. And let's go, uh, let's go save our guy. Edgar. Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? Easy, easy, save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Jeffrey McCullum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... dare to attack us in the open. What b became of him? I put him in a somewhat delicate position when I made him an immortal. Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. Oh, I've hi I have doubts. You are hiding something, I believe you. So could William Marshall actually be my, uh, like my maker? Would, that would make sense, the way he looks and the, the red stuff and everything, the ghost red, the red ghost. Could be him. Uh, you're hiding something, right? I think you're hiding something, Edgar. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Jonathan, I, I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. Oh, hang on now. You do know him. What the hell? Why accuse us of, uh, us of creating an epidemic? Why would the guard of Prewin believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession. Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. About William Marshall, though. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story. He was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why is Burren obsessed with him? Uh, yeah, exactly. Why is the guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. The oldest, huh? Interesting. You have some explaining to do, my guy. Do you know him personally or something? While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Doris Fletcher's real name. Remember Arya Jones? Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes. 
the terrible episode that came as a shock to us all. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter, full of hatred and festering anger. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. Oh, really? What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Very interesting. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Um, do you know where we are? Don't you see the pattern? Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. Uh, do you know where we are? Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. And rabies is not the devil at work. There's no coincidence here. Doris and her is going on more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I How could you do that? I healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood. Are you serious? Jones. My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your. She's not good. She time. can't produce any good. Uh, she's not a good you, vampire. Jeffrey. Must I name? She can't the make children. Of your victim. That's why they became scowls. We are both deceivers. But at least I know I'm a monster. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. All right, so we can let him die, turn him into a vampire, 3000 XP though, or embrace him. I'll make your death quicker. Um, now if I turn him, now, I don't know, if I turn people, does that mean I can't, like, my mesmerized level is going to go up or something? I know that if I embrace him, my mesmerized level is probably going to go up. I, I do want that. I do wish that, so I probably could kill, like, you know, other people, but I don't know, boys. You know what? I'm just going to kill him. I'm done t turning people, especially since it's 3,000. I already turned three, uh, two people already. I'm going to embrace him. I'm going to kill him. Yes, your death is imminent, Dr. Swansea. But I swear it will be quick. Uh, uh, I already told you to call me Edgar. Am I no longer your friend? I believe you never have been, sir. 
You have lied to me at every step and betrayed the trust of a woman I cherish. Uh -huh. You... you and the lady? Really? Well, I should have seen it coming, I suppose. May I add that I welcome this? The biting, I mean. You have your wish. Is it going to hurt? I always wondered if you... Ah! There goes Dorxus when they finally dead. Chapter 6, Patient Zero. Alright, Antidote, prepare to fight the disaster, alright? We got just got 10,000 XP, that's just what I needed. I didn't need to lose many uh, XP, I needed to win XP right now. Alright, Love Letter. So let's see what this is. Okay, you guys can read all of that. I got everything. Talk to Lady Ashbury, boys, alright. So we gotta talk to Lady Ashbury, I don't know what's gonna happen here. Um, he was pretty stupid, I mean, didn't, wasn't an excuse to let him die, but I wanted to let him die anyways, or say, say uh, kill him or anything like that, because I'm a vampire, so that's what I do, but if I was a human, I wouldn't, I would have spared him, you know. He didn't know what he was doing. He didn't know that Lady Ashbury wasn't like a good vampire that could actually produce good vampires. She can't, like, she can only create scals, and that's the problem, that's where he fucked up, basically. We're in, let's, uh, let's find her, where is she? She's, uh, up top, on top, alright. Let's just, uh, get all the resources, boys, see what she's gotta say for herself, or basically tell her, I think we're just here to tell her information, give her information. And she's gonna know for sure that her daughter died. Because I did kill her daughter half video, boys. Killed basically everyone I could. So, uh, I don't know if she f knows that I'm uh, the killer. I don't know how she's gonna react or anything. I would, It would be funny, boys. I'm just waiting for that reaction. Or maybe I can tell her that I'm the one who killed her. That would be funny as hell. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to her. What good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan? What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? He was mortally wounded. I put an end to his misery. That is terrible, Jonathan. And yet you did what you must. The poor man. Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic. But he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? He was a criminal. He gave no, need, no heed to edicts. He was stupid. Yeah, he was stupid, basically. Edgar's behavior was beyond lunacy. He had neither the discipline, knowledge, nor the proper facilities to conduct blood experiments. I must say, I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient. Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected, and how she became an i -Corps. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? No. 
No. This can't be. That's right. You can't get you cannot produce vampires. You're not a real one. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth. Interesting. She just went away. She didn't like that, huh? She didn't like to be told that she was not uh, a pure vampire. Very interesting. Well. Oh my god, we got a lot of things to do. Okay, obtain a drop of William Marshall's blood from Lord Redgrave. How am I going to do that? Obtain a drop of King Arthur's blood from uh, Geoffrey Mickleham. Okay. And search for the insulin in the old morgue of Pembroke Hospital. So I got to go back to Pembroke Hospital for both Mickleham and the uh, hospital thing. And I got to go to the club in order to talk to Lord Redgrave. All right. Very interesting boys. We are gonna go ahead and do all of this in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're gonna see you guys for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy boys.